Okay, this is my ream furnace. Every year it seems like they have to go in here and uh, clean things out to get it to run right. Furnace will kick on for like a minute and then back off. A lot of times that's a sign that the thermal couple is bad or dirty. Uh, in my case, it's usually just dirty. Um, what happens is when the furnace, when the burners kick on, there's a sensor. That thermal couple is basically like the sensor that tells you that the burners are lit. Because the last thing you want in a furnace is your is gas to be flowing through the burners and the burners not to be lit. So that thermal couple tells the rest of the furnace that yes, the burners are on and it's not just dumping gas into the environment going to cause an explosion. So what you got to do is take these four screws out, these middle two. We'll take this bottom section out with it has a little window in it. This is where the computer is, brain box, all that. And this top part, it's these outside screws that you got to take out for it um, to uh, access the thermal couple. It's up in here. I'll show you that when this panel's off. So when you're in here to be safe, you should have the power kicked off. Now, this is the switch when you pull this panel off. It, the, it's telling the machine the panel's off and there's somebody working in here. And this cuts the power off. As soon as I touch that, power will kick back on on everything in here. So you really got to be careful with what you're doing. Uh, otherwise, you should find another way. I mean, even besides this, you should find another way to cut the power to be safe while you're in here working on this thing. So there's all your electronics. And behind that is the fan. Uh, this is, uh assume, another, you know, blower fan. I I'm no expert in this, so... Anyway, there's going to be guys here that know more than what I'm doing. So if I do something wrong, uh, tell me. But here's your thermal couple here on this particular ream. So you'll undo that screw. And uh, once I do that, I'll slide it out. Your burners are up in here. And we'll see those fire off when this thing kicks on. Uh, I'm sure these are probably igniters. You can't quite see them up in here I believe those are igniters but your thermal couple is right here so we got that screw out I'm gonna have to cut this at a little bit of an angle to get it out of there and you can see that's really clean doesn't look like it should be so dirty that's not working but a lot of times that's dirty enough. Some guys will use like a scouring pad or uh, if it's this clean already, you might be able to just rub it down with a, a clean rag. Uh, last thing you want to do is uh, put some oil on this or something off your fingers, uh, you know, because then it will just get dirty again real quick. So get that cleaned off. A lot of times it will be dirtier than this, but just because this looks clean, doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it doesn't need cleaned again, in my experience anyway. So I'll clean that off with a, scour a new scouring pad. I don't want something that my wife's been using at the sink. Uh, so, I'll, you know, I don't want to introduce a bunch of moisture to it or other particles, you know. So get that clean. I'll reinstall that. It's probably a good idea to have a magnet because stuff's easy to drop down in here. Uh, so have a magnet so you can get a hold of that screw. So I'm going to reinsert that and uh, I'll show you what the lights do on this particular model. They kind of tell you everything's working correctly and what it was doing before I clean this. Okay, so we got that back in. It's clean. It's ready to fire off. This is, I should also say this is a common replacement part. Sometimes these things go bad. Uh, you can watch other videos on how to test these things if they're bad. Uh, last time I bought one, it was only like 10 bucks at the local hardware store. Uh, odds are at your local hardware store, they're not going to have the exact one uh, that you need anymore, though. Some of them are, uh, they used to be rather generic, and now I think they're getting kind of specific for these things. So anyway, uh, this would be the unsafe way to do it, but I guarantee you if you have a technician come to your house, this is what he does when he tests things. He leaves the panels off 
Then he presses this button to test things. So we're gonna hold this and we're gonna pay attention to these lights. Our burners are gonna fire off here pretty soon. You'll be able to hear that. I'm not gonna put the camera on it, but you'll see this flame light start to uh, flicker on and then stay on. And that's basically telling you that thermal couple's working. At least that's my understanding of this machine. There's the igniters. Flames just went on. Burners are on. So before I cleaned that thing, that light was just constant blinking. Uh, and if it's not perfectly clean, you know, sometimes it'll flicker a little and sometimes still work uh, when you see a little bit of a flicker. But that should be constant on when that thermocouple is working on these units. So that's fixed. I'm going to put these panels back on. You'll see as soon as I take my finger off of that guy, everything kicks off. So I'm going to put those panels back on and we should be good to go probably for another season. Thanks for watching.